Alright everybody, welcome back to some more of Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge! In the last episode, we got into the final world of the game, the Freezing Furnace, took care of most of the things that I can recall that we have to do on the icy side. Now we're in the fiery bit, the furnace bit, also known as Grunty Industries. So let's get moving to what we were... Get on moving and grooving here. Eh. I wonder if Kazooie feels like pain when I smack the ground with the backpack. It probably hurts. Anyways, we want to go over here because we opened this up earlier. Not sure what's inside there. It looks spoopy. But, uh, ah, it's like a storage area. I said store. Oh, hey. Some boom boxes. Watch out for those things. All this for a jiggy. All right. Oh, sh I forgot about that. Sometimes there's like those freaking eel enemies that hide in things. Also, those stupid TNT guys are a little annoying. Same moments get all fired up before you fiddle with the frozen fuses. Hmm. Make those things kill themselves. And we got the. F I'm pretty sure that's the final honeycomb piece, and that still hit me. Like all shenanigans right there. Alright. Alright, get out of there from there. And. Wow. Thanks, game. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're looking out for me, because apparently I thought I was in the right spot, but apparently debt perception and bullshit like that said no. So the game essentially just rickrolled to me. Let's get away from that jerk. Now I'm trying to think of what else we're supposed to do. We need to activate that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, never mind. Thank you. It's just basically... I just wanted to check around that area over there for a second. Alright. There we go. Well, there's a bit of gold right here. Four of seven. Also, oh yeah, we, we need the Wonder Wing for this area. Got a full inventory's worth of it. Hopefully it'll last. There we go. Up here should be something good. Or just an area to access. Oh no. I remember this puzzle. You have to spell Gruntilda. And this area is poisonous. I need health, I need health. There. Should barely make it though. There. <sighs> Barely. Uh, how do I get... Okay, I, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of there. I didn't even see the exit. Nice game. Yeah, like I was supposed to know... I was supposed to go up here the first time. It's been a while, game. Jesus. Screw you, bees. I hate bees. These are douchebags. I don't even like honey. Honey doesn't taste that very good. In my opinion, of course. But probably someone else loves honey. They're probably offended, but you know, I don't like honey that very much. Not that very tasty. 
Alright, need yield and ice eggs. To be able to deal with those stupid fire enemies. And to be able to activate the switches. Activate that one. And there, activates that one. Now then, we just wait a moment and go back. Come on! Ah, clutch! Alright. Simple enough, just destroy those things. Make sure I'm full inventory and full health. Close. Oh, oh no, 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 no. There. There we go. Boss time! Clungo! Boss fight 3. Clungo another day. Just wait till Bear for a good taste of Clungo's new potion. Clungo turned them into a matching set of germuloids for Grunty's army. Now he has a shield and he's invisible. Also, the ice makes it really hard to move around, giving Kalungo quite the advantage. Also, stupid germuloids. Spin around to kill him, like usual. Alright, that takes care of two hits. Just one more and he's dead. There we go. Just gotta kite him a bit. And then his third final set of attacks. And there we go. Burn, burn. Not even catch cold. Clunko must remember to double his strength of next potion. And he's done. Leaving us a Jiggy and another Mumbo token. Also, for some reason, it played the, s the music for the second world for a brief moment. Probably an audio glitch. That's probably just an audio glitch. Anyways, now we have... Uh, how many Jiggies do we have? Six? Yeah, six. We're almost seven in this area. Total. So that means... Uh, we're missing one for the Jinjos. Spillerton's not the one we're missing. Uh, oh yes, Badge Magic Bayou. And we're missing one Jiggy. So I only need three more in this area and we're done. Just trying to remember what else we can do around here. Because we need that pad to be on in order to get to that upper area up there. Otherwise, we're stuck down here. Stupid bees. Uh, I could have sworn there would be a switch around here. Thanks, game. Thanks for always looking out for me. Well then, there's not really much I can think of doing other than revisiting Mumbo now that we have a new token for him to get the final transformation of the game. Take care of these big afoots. Pretty sure they're called the Big Up Foots. And of course, the water sucks still. Frostbite, of course. Banjo's fur is not well suited for this type of environment. Anyways. Yes, yeah, so we have a new token just for you. Yes, let us transform. into the final transformation of the game! 
Which is... If you can already tell... A freaking tank! We're a freaking tank! Mumbo called this tank. His tank to break through tank door. Metal feet make ch tank safe to go through harmful areas. Tank no can jump. Has to be the fire. The tank shot. And we shoot like these freaking... I don't know what this is. It looks like a mine. It's really OP though. <laughs> you can pretty much go into like areas we couldn't go before. And uh, I gotta figure out where we're supposed to go actually. Just one hits that guy. Did not give a shit. But now we can go in here. Get some of these notes in this area. And we can get this Jinjo. And we can get that Jiggy! Yes! Oh yeah, you do have to come over here as regular Benjamin because we used to get that switch. So that's where the switch was. You can't stand this toxic stuff. It'll hurt you. Exit through there. And that's another piece of gold. I'm pretty sure what's over here is a mini game or something. To get one of the Jiggies we need. There we go. Simple little thing. Alright. We're almost done with this area. That was pretty much it for the tank. Tank is rather short-lived out of all the uh, transformations in the game. You only get to use it here and back in mag bad magic value, which we'll take care of in a minute. Yes, let's change back. Alright. With the power of disco, we're back to normal. Alright. Unfortunately, we can't take that door the tank opens up back there. Where that enemy is. It's a tank only door. It'll shut once we get through it. Once we're back to normal, we can't just go through it freely. That means we have to take the long route. Alright. Make sure we're full on eggs. Full on health, just to be sure. Alright. Now then. Before I go activate that switch, we're gonna go back into the storage area to get that jiggy we got from the the what do they call it again? Uh, I forget what they're called. This guy from this guy. With your dedication to find the gingers, I'm sure you'll be brave enough to face Gruntilda in her lair. I really much have hint just foreshadowing. Alright, now that's taken care of. Uh, oh good, the controller just randomly turned off. It's not because it's low battery and that, that really fucked me over. Thanks, controller! Thank you, Xbox controller! You're so kind to me! And now I'm in a bit of a danger now. Because I want to be careful around this area. You don't want to stand in that nasty goo. So it will hurt you. There. I hope that's not time limited. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that, that did a lot of damage. I had like four health. I don't know if that does four damage or if that's an insta kill there. Because if it's an insta kill, that's pretty BS. Just saying. Go away. He's not gonna go away. Neither is his buddy. 
There we go. Alright, that makes six. We just need one more. And we got all the notes. Hell yeah, that's gotta be a record. It's not like you can get 101 GEs. Or, you know, notes. I know those grunts wouldn't be clever enough to hide all the nuggets. Chicken nuggets? BK chicken nuggets, maybe? I know just what to do with all that gold. Alright, sorry about that. I got rudely interrupted. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. I would like to get through a recording session nowadays without being rudely interrupted. <sighs> Anyways, we talked to her. Hey, Banjo, give her the nuggets. She looks like a little pale. Great. Stand back and watch me work. Alright. Do your magic, Mrs. Bucket. Mrs. Bucket? She'll shove it right up your ass, Mrs. Bucket. Doopa doopa doop. One moment again. <sighs> Once again, interrupted. Not even five seconds and I get interrupted again. And, you know, we got all the no- All the notes. Still a little bit discombobulated from the annoyances. Now we got all ten jiggies in this area. That means we only need one more jiggy. And then we have 100% at this game. But that's it for the freezing furnace, actually. We have finished the final world of the game. And still splash into that water. I swear, can you not make that jump from here? Is it not doable? Apparently it's not doable. It's like one tile too high to jump over. You just cannot make that jump. Alright. We're done with this area. Alright, we are done with this area. Before anything else, we want to go to uh, Honeybee. Get our final health extension. Now that we have all 12 of these. <laughs> that doesn't sound suggestive at all. You found all the empty honeycombs. I won't be able to extend your life bar any further, but I'll be glad to give you a top up if you're not feeling too hot. So basically, now that we have all the empty honeycombs, and we can't get health extensions, but whenever you have low health, or need the health, in case you can't get any from anywhere else, you can just go to Honeybee and she'll give you a, a free health refill. If you're like hurting for health. But that's it for that. Ah. Now we just actually have to go back to the magic bayou. Bad magic bayou. Take a little bit of time to get there. Alright, here it is. Wasn't that bad. Alright. Anyways, we're here for one last thing that we could not do earlier. We need to go back to Mumbo here in this area. Uh, uh, this isn't it. We actually have to go back downwards. Yeah, thanks for respawning. Uh, that's the one thing I don't like about the this game and the like the next game respawning enemies. That's the one annoying little thing that about these about the Banjo Kazooie games. Alright. Anyways, just take our time to get all the way back to that poison area. This isn't it. I could cut, but I just want to show how to get to that place. Because it's been a while, you know. Probably a couple of, almost half a year since I last played. Also, this guy's blocking the way. Good. There's the or or oracle, that's what they're called. It's the oracle. 
Wait for the damage. There you go. Alright, here it is. That's where we need to go into. The fine old uh, bit of the game. That needs to know we're important. That's the thing where we used the candle earlier, er, way earlier on in the series. But, yeah. There. Alright. Tank, once again, the most short-lived of all the transformations. Uh, yeah. Alright, that's it. Tread careful. It's another one of these little get rid of all the tile things. Pretty simple. Not that difficult at all. And what do you know, the final jiggy of the game. We have now 100% at the game. All that is left to do, I'm pretty sure, is to go back to the Jiggy Temple, and that's about it. And then the next episode should be the finale of this game. Now then, we have to go all the way back. Back to the entrance to get out of here. Fortunately, there isn't like in the old Banjo Kazooie fast teleport. Uh, actually, there isn't a fast teleport. You have to go all the way back to the entrance to get out of the area. Thinking of a different game, I think. I don't think any of the Banjo Kazooie games. Well, except for the except for Banjo Tooie. That's the only game that has fast traveling. Alright, out of that dump. Now then, we're just gonna go quickly visit the or oracle. The uh, temple over here. And open the last area, unless I've already done that. You have collected enough jiggies to enter Grunty's stronghold. I will open the gateway for you. Please carry this jiggy to the altar. Alright, once we do this, we will have access to Gruntilda's Lair, the final area of the game. That means we don't have to come into the temple here anymore. So, the next episode, like I said before, will be the finale of the game. I'm pretty sure he has one last line of dialogue before we go. You have broken the most powerful seal. Be careful, Banjo. Who knows what evil awaits you? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode of Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. We have gotten all the notes. We have gotten all the jiggies, all the jinjos, all the moves, and all the transformations. We, in the essence of collecting everything, as I show one last time, we have 100%ed the game. All areas of it, all areas have been done. All collectibles have been gotten. All that remains is the final battle in Gruntilda's lair. Tune in next time for a win for the finale of Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge when we finally finish the game. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.